everyone and welcome back to Carefree Caravanning. In this week's video we are going to discuss caravan security. A lot of you have been messaging us and emailing us asking us what security measures we take to you know secure our caravan. Yeah I think um, it's probably without question it's got to be the most asked question um, yeah. uh, you know from you viewers out there so yeah. we thought we'd do a video of the security we use um, and also show you how we use them yes so um, we use we actually have we have actually have four uh, locks uh, in no particular order we have the Alco secure lock now we're not going to put anything in the description for this because every lock is uh, every caravan has a different number every model caravan has a different number so uh, where ours is 44 yours might be 28 or whatever so there's just no point in putting a, um, a link to where you can get this it's the most expensive lock you can buy I believe at the moment and insurance companies love them but they're a pain the second lock we have is the Alfred um, that's called the Alfred yeah it's a hitch lock Alfred <laughs> So we use the Alfred, Alfred so, Hitchcock. <laughs> yeah, Alfred Hitchcock. So we use the Maypole Stronghold for our hitch lock. Um, this takes about seven or eight seconds to fit. So we'll show you how that goes. And the third lock we use is the Malenko Wraith. Um, again, only takes seven or eight seconds to fit. Fantastic. Uh, when we're on site, we just fit this and the hitch lock. Um, we don't bother about the Alco chassis lock. Um, however, the insur our insurance company stipulate that we have to have the Alco secure lock when it's in storage. Yes. Um, yeah. And then we're now going to just go over to the fourth lock we have. And the fourth lock that we have is a door lock, which is the Fiamma or Fiamma, I'm not too sure, Piana, Piana. Um, this is secured by three screws and once it's on it is a great lock it really is it's basically uh, when the doors close you twist that round you've got a key which twists and then you push it in like that and that's it the door that won't go anywhere and the door won't open now some people may say oh you've put it over the handle some people say oh no we always put it down here or up here away from the handle the reason I put it over the handle is because if you have it here you've got a gap and when you open the, so if you the locks on and you open door it's enough of a gap for somebody to get a something in a screwdriver in and try and damage the door that way so when it's here the door won't open at all so that's the first lock the Fiamma or Fiamma door lock they're very cheap they're only about 39 pounds uh, again we'll put the link in the description so with the Maypole Stronghold hitch lock it's very very straightforward um, you get a tow ball replica which is the first thing you do that goes in where the tow ball is going to go release the handle down and then the hitch lock literally just goes over the release handle like that and this these two bits one slides in like that and the lock just goes in like that twist it and that's it it is now secure and then just close down the top and the Malenko Wraith it's, it's very it's, it's identical to the Nemesis Ultra um, you get when you get this you get a receiving bolt that you replace one of your wheel nuts with the receiving bolt that they supply and then to fit it is really straightforward you've got this bar that slides in there and you, you put it let me get the key and it just goes in the wheel onto the receiving bolt and then locks into place and that's now locked the Malenko Wraith 30, uh, 30 seconds is 10 seconds to fit great piece of kit And the Alco's Chassis Secure, uh, as I said earlier, is probably the most secure lock uh, I believe that you can get. Um, it comes with the inset and a bolt and a locking key and then a lock. You also get a, uh, a wrench just to tighten up the lock. 
and you get this thing. I have no idea what this is. It might just be if you're getting very hot because you will get stressed when you fit them. Now, I can't show you, I can't actually show you how I fit this because we're on site at the moment and as you can see, I don't know if the, you can see, but the caravan is lined up exactly in the wrong position. Now, if you can see that yellow receiving bolt, receiving uh, bar there, that has got to be in the middle. And when I say in the middle, it is an exact science. It has to be literally in the middle. If you can see where it is, it's nowhere near the middle, so I can't show you how we're gonna fit it. There are, however, many videos online, so if you just type into Google how to fit an Alco secure chassis lock, they will show you. Um, they are really are, they're, they're not a nightmare, they're just a pain to fit because um, we have to have this fitted, as I said earlier, when we're back in storage, and um, it's got to be really in the middle, and not as it just got to be in the middle, it can't be where of the, the tire valve is. So um, it is a bit of a bane of my life. If you have a twin axle one, <laughs> then you do have to jack the, um, the wheel up to get, because you have one on either side. And that's really it, that's all of our locks. Well, that's the security measures that we use. Um, we hope that you found that useful. Um, must just say, we cannot stress enough that all these security measures are merely deterrents to stop people. Sadly, yeah. Yes, to stop yeah. people wanting to take your caravan. Um, there, there isn't anything on the market that is 100% secure. All these items can be removed if the person wanting it, we you know, what's the word? Yeah, if they really want to <laughs> take it. If they really it, want it, they'll then take they'll it. take it. Uh, um, the good thing about having so many devices on, devices on the caravan, um, you know, if your caravan is next to another one and the other one has less security devices on it, the um, would-be thief would hopefully go for the other caravan and not yours with, yeah. you know, so many security yeah. devices on it. Yeah. So. Um, it really is a deterrent. Um, what else? So, um, also, that what's very important is your storage, where you store your caravan. Yeah. Please ensure that it is in a secure site. We've done a video on that, um, how to find a caravan storage site. So if you're unsure about what to look for, then please go back and have a look at that. We'll put a little card description thing line up yep. here <laughs> so you can watch that. Okay. Yeah, so I hope that's been good for you. and. Uh, yeah, uh, really, as uh, Nick Ross used to say, don't have nightmares. Yeah. You know, the chances <laughs> of happening to you are highly unlikely. Um, so well, it's sleep more well. And more common. It is Caravan becoming common, and that's, that's a topic for another day. It's becoming a bit of an epidemic. It is, and that's a topic really for another day. It infuriates me. It know, really does infuriate me. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, before she goes I've off on one, on enough. <laughs> before she goes on one, thank you very, very much indeed yeah, for watching, you. and thank you everybody who subscribed to our channel. If you haven't subscribed and you like what we've done today, just give us a little subscription up there, hit the little caravan over Michelle's shoulder, and until the next time, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.